friends welcome back this is Solomon Jagwe I am back with another quick insight and today we have to uh, we'll be talking about uh, DAS studio and the DAS 3D bridges so if you're new to my channel I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video and to all my faithful subscribers thank you so much for your support all right let's get started so today um, I was looking at uh, the DAS Studio website and something caught my eye and this header right here Blender animations and Unreal envir environment so the Blender bridges now support animation so I was very very excited because I received a lot of comments in some of the videos that I've shared about uh, you know the bridges from DAS to Blender DAS to Unreal DAS to Myanmar in three, three, and uh, 3ds Max I think the one that has been common is uh, how do we send animations to DAS, rather to, from DAS Studio to Blender. Guys, it has been finally <laughs> fixed. You're able to send facial animation and full body animation straight from DAS Studio into the uh, into Blender without those problems that we've been encountering with the bones being everywhere. So let's get started. Uh, first, I'll show you this scene that I, I'm working in. It has this uh, character. And it has facial animation it has a full body animation and uh, if i were to switch to the perspective view and let's move it over here and play back so you can see there's no bit sliding foot sliding <laughs> the character is animated properly and if i focus on the face you can see the facial animations you know so this has been a, a challenge in the past but today we have a solution thanks to the update that has just come out and the update is not just for blender by the way guys if you go to your does central okay in here uh, and you click on the bridge for example cinema 4d you notice that has been updated to 1.1 if you go to the 3ds max one it's, it's also been updated to 1.1 blender is 2.1 so please make sure that your uh, blender bridge is 2.1 before you try out what i'm trying i'm gonna show you so before it was 2.0 but now it's 2.1 and that's the one that supports animation without struggling and also the one for maya has been updated as well as the one to unreal so i'll do another tutorial for that so let's go back in here the way it works it really is very simple uh all you gotta do is uh go to export make sure your character is selected here and go to scripts bridges and blender and then does to blender and by the way if you notice they've actually added some buttons over here so there's one for maya one for 3ds max one for blender morph does to blender morph and then you have uh, another does to blender and then there's bridge does to blender so this top one is the one that you want to use and it's the same one that you get access to from the main menu so does to blender that's the one that you want to use so click on that and i'm going to let it run through so you get a sense of how long it takes so this uh length the animation that you see in the viewport here is about 160 frames so depending on how long your animation is it might take a little bit longer than what you're going to see in the uh, demonstration that i'm going to do so let's stop this and go to scripts bridges blender does to blender and hold on let me go back so scripts make sure the character is selected scripts bridges blender does to blender and we're sending a genesis genesis 3 a genesis 8 character if it's a 3 model uh, make sure you select that a genesis 3 model and you can send both so we don't have any environments in here so i'll just send the character and that's really cool that you can actually send both of them at the same time uh, i'm loving these updates guys look at this press press accept and you want to do level zero uh, subdivision level zero click on accept and then once it gets to the morph names does to blender make sure that is included uh, checked include minimal morphs and then press accept and then let it go through and depending again on how long the animation is you see it uh, move from frame zero all the way to the end of the 
animation range. So if you have like a thousand frames, except I expect this to take a little bit longer. So this is not going to take long because this is 160 frames of animation and you can see the progress here. So we're already at around halfway. And again, I, as always, I'm going to let this uh, run through so you get a better sense of how long this process takes. So you're not frustrated thinking it's not working. And this is also going to depend on how fast you, your machine is. Uh, if you have a slow machine, this process might take a little bit longer than <laughs> expected or compared to what you're seeing on the screen here. So that is 160 frames and that's how long it took to export. So again, just a heads up. If you have a, a lot of frames on your animation, expect maybe just go grab a cup of coffee or something and then come back. All right, so it's going through uh, and it's done. So that this process is done. We've exported the animation from DAS into Blender. So right now it's in a temp folder. And so I, I need to go to Blender and open Blender. And I'm using Blender 2.91 and make sure the plugin is installed and the way you do that you just verify go to your preferences up here go to add-ons and type in does and you see it here make sure that check that option is checked that's how we know it's uh, gonna work okay all right now we go to the tab right here does to blender and i'm gonna click on the import new genesis 3 or 8 model and you see a small a little counter that shows the progress right now it's like five <laughs> i don't know if that's a percentage but uh give it a chance to go through and i'm, I'm not gonna speed up the video i'm just gonna let it go through the process so you have a, an, an idea of how long it takes to import the character into uh, blender so it's at 25 i think that's uh 25 percent uh could be a number i'm not sure <laughs> But it's at 25 maybe that's so that's a quarter of the way of the uh import and what i try not to do is i try not to click anywhere in the interface because it create it, it, it can create a, a loop where you it's trying to load and then you're not aware so i want to see that number progress that's why i don't click anywhere I just leave my mouse and wait for it to load now this is the time it takes for this process to complete it's going to depend on how many uh, like cl clothing items the character has from DAS Studio. And also depending on how, if you have included the environment or not. So this character only had like a loincloth. I don't, I, he doesn't have uh, a shirt or shoes and he had some eyebrows. <laughs> so maybe those are the ones that are causing the causing this uh, scene to take a long time to load. So we're at about 45 again uh, it's 61 i'm gonna let it be so you have you get an idea of how long it takes uh 66 i think this is a it might be percentage if it gets to uh 99 and then 100 i don't know for sure that's a, a percentile so we had 68 and so guys i mean you remember the scene in the studio how uncomplicated it was so be, i think because of uh the update they probably have more like features that have been implemented in the bridge so maybe that's why it's taking a little bit long because the character wasn't that uh like complicated all right so the characters finally come in and you can actually see the range of uh frames 160 and best of all guys is that the model is not messed up it's not like bones flying everywhere you can see some items here that uh i think that those are like pins but overall, the model is intact and you can see the facial controls, the bonds uh, for the animating the face are here. And I'm going to go scroll over here in the, this panel and turn off the bonds. And here comes the magic. All right. So before, remember how we would struggle and then things wouldn't work. But check this out. I'm going to press play. And there. The character has facial animation and let me move the camera down you can see the fingers this is full body animation imported into blender using the does to bridge to blender bridge and this is something that we've been waiting for for a long time guys so i, I am so happy and grateful to the does 3d team for making this possible 
And so once this character is in here, now that what's left is really to make sure the textures look good and uh, light the environment. I'm gonna switch real quick to cycles so you get a sense of what it looks like. So you can see the expressions. You can see the character moving. And let's also switch to Eevee. And give it a chance to calculate the, the materials. And so if I play back, it's gonna be a little bit like slow motion, but uh, you can speed that up. But you get a sense, I wanted you to see the animation. So you can see the mouth moving, the eyes, the blinking, and there are the, those eyelashes. <laughs> it's like geometry. It's not like a texture-based uh, geometry. So that's pretty cool, guys. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, I wanted to highlight this so that if you have been looking for a solution to bring character animation into Blender from Da Studio, you have an option now that brings in the character with a facial animation and a full body animation. So guys, thank you so much. And what I'll do is uh, next time, I'll do another tutorial or rather insight uh, demonstration of how I light my scenes here in Eevee together with the characters and the environment sent from uh, Da Studio. But overall, this is an exciting day for Blender users. By the way, I'm I'm a, a, a newbie actually. I'm, I'm brand new when it comes to using Blender. So for me to see tools like this that come along and improve the the speed at which we can do these uh, things, to me is, a, is an awesome thing because for guys like myself who are just getting into Blender, it's it's an awesome day to have full animation of the face and body coming into from da studio and so i'll continue to share my insights and uh thoughts as i continue to work with this but this is really really awesome guys uh thank you so much for for joining me today and uh please spare a minute to subscribe hit that notification bell so you're alerted when i post a new video i'll uh, see you next time with another insight bye for now